If you are having bad FPS and choppy gameplay while you're playing Valorant, so in this video, I'm gonna show you super simple easy tricks to make your game run faster and smoother than ever before. So guys, get ready for all this tweak. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best window settings, the best windows powerful settings, and also some important tools you can use on your PC for having the next level performance out of your any low-end PC or laptop. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to disable the power throttling and background app from our Windows. So press Windows out together from your keyboard and type here gpedit.msc and press enter. Open up computer configuration, administrative template, system now scroll down and find out here power management folder go inside it inside it you'll find out power throttling settings go for it go for turn off power throttling and you need to enable the setting for turning off the power throttling on your windows after that hit apply click ok now you need to go back into the main directory of this local group policy editor now go for windows component app privacy now scroll all the way down and there you will find out let's window app run in the background so open up this folder now you need to enable the settings on your pc after that go for default for all app and set it on force denied after that hit apply click ok and save the settings on your windows now in the next step we are going to create the best and powerful power plan on our windows for having the better performance and better fps in valorant so guys for creating a best gaming power plan you need power control on your pc you can do it manually but guys my favorite tool that is the power control you can use it for free for creating a best and powerful power plan for your computer so guys for downloading these tools on your pc simply join my discord server go for download tab and there you will find out here the latest post for downloading all these tools on your pc so guys once you download power control on your pc here you will find out this kind of interface now in the very first step you need to simply go for this drop down and select with some high performance now click on the make activate and apply this power plan now you need to follow the same settings simply turn off the settings set heterogeneous policy on hetero parking use the same exact setting for short thread and long thread after that hit apply and save the setting now go for with some dynamic boost enable check mark on the boxes after that hit ok and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc so guys now the next step for optimizing your gp performance settings and input delay of your mouse and keyboard you need msi utility on your pc now simply open up this application by using this rar or view file and there you will find out this kind of interface now in the very first step you need to find out here your gpu model from this list so i have an nvidia geforce rtx 3070 simply select out here your gpu now go straight into this land and check mark onto the msi after that go for interrupt priority go for the drop down and set it on highest performance after that hit apply and save the setting also guys if you want to get the lowest input delay out of your mouse and keyboard you need to simply go for intel usb 3.20 after that you need to go for this straight line go for interrupt priority and offset it on high performance now hit apply and save the settings now in the next step we are going to disable hpet on our pc that is causing the high cpu usage that causing the stress while we're playing valorant so guys for that you need to open up this txt file after that here you will find out all these commands so guys for disabling all these settings on your pc you need to simply copy all these commands from here now press ctrl c go for your windows search search for cmd and run this as administrator now simply paste here this command and press enter and guys this will automatically execute all these commands on your pc and disable all these user settings that is using your cpu in the background so guys now the next step we are going to optimize our valorant directory settings so for that open up file explorer and go for this pc now open up your local dc or drive as you install your valorant now you need to go for reward game folder go for valorant live shooter game binary even 64 now scroll down and find out here xg or the launcher file of valorant even 64 shipping.exe file simply right click here go for the properties of your disk file now go for compatibility check mark on disable full screen optimization now go for change high dps settings and also check mark on override high dps scaling behavior now hit ok hit apply click ok and save the settings in your valorant now in the next step we are going to configure our graphic settings so guys right click on your desktop and open up your display settings now scroll down and find out here graphic settings go inside it now you need to go for default settings and click on to the change default graphic settings simply turn on the settings that is hardware accelerated GP scheduling this will reduce latency and improve your performance also guys enable variable refresh rate and also enable optimization for windows game 
Once you enable all the settings on your PC, not simply close out your Windows settings. Now in the next step, we are going to optimize NVIDIA control panel settings. So right click on your desktop, go for show more option and open up NVIDIA control panel. So guys inside here in the NVIDIA control panel, in the very first step, go for adjust image settings with preview and set it on use the advanced 3D settings. After that, click on Take Me There, and this will take you into the Manage 3D Settings or the Advanced Settings of NVIDIA Control Panel. Now, the very first step: disable or turn off the scaling, turn off Ambition or Collision, set the Anisotropic Filtering on Application Control, Anti-Aliasing FXAA, set it on off, Camera Correction, turn it on, Anti-Aliasing Mode, set it on Application Control. After that, and I'll leave all the settings. This is not important for you. Go for DSR factor, simply turn it off. Now go for low latency mode. Go for this option and set it to ultra for having the lowest amount of input delay out of your mouse or keyboard while you're playing analog. Now you need to go for max frame rate, set it on off. Monitor technology, set it on G-Sync compatible. Now go for open GL rendering and set it on your GPU, whatever you're using. I am using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 70. I will go with NVIDIA. Uh, scroll down go for power management mode click on the drop down and set it on tab for a maximum performance now scroll down go for shatter cache size click on the drop down and set it on 100 gb or the maximum number you have available in the list now scroll down go for texture filter quality go for drop down and set it on performance once you save all the settings on your pc now you need to click on the apply button and apply the settings in your nvidia control panel for achieving the best performance in web. now next you need to go for display settings under there you will find out adjust desktop size and position go for the settings and set it on full screen after that hit apply and also save the settings in your nvidia control panel so guys now in the final and the last step we are going to disable animation and performance settings from our windows and that will help us to get more performance on our low-end pcs or laptop so guys simply right click here on your windows star icon and open up system settings now there you will find out advanced system settings so go for the settings open up performance settings now simply set the settings on custom after that disable all the other options just check mark on show thumbnail instead of icon and smooth edges of screen before after applying the settings hit apply click ok click ok again and close out your window settings now you need to one time restore your PC there for all the changes to take effect. After that, launch your Valorant and enjoy the best performance out of your PC. I hope so you love this video. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and to let the next video peace out. Spike down, attacker spawn. Mm.